Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're in the Pima uh, and we're on with some routine maintenance. We're just doing an oil and filter change. Uh, now, I've owned the car, I'll say I've owned it, I've had the car on the road for probably about a month now. And I think I put an engine flush in there. First week of having it on the road, so it's been in there longer than it probably should have been. Uh, luckily, it's one of them, it's a comma one, so it's, it's an oil-based one. It's not one of these solvent-based cleaners you can get that are pissy thin. Um, so, hopefully, it's just going to mean the engine will be super clean. And the filter is, uh, it's a man filter. It's been in the boot for a couple of weeks now. New O-ring. New uh, copper washer for the sump plug. And the oil is Castrol. Now, obviously BMW recommend Castrol. I think for this model, it's meant to be the, the Castrol Edge. But I found a Magnatec with, it's this BMW Long Life 04 spec that, that's the important thing, really. Um, I, think, I think these can sort of run on 530, 540. 030 or 040 I don't think the grade m sort of makes much much of a difference it's obviously it's that BMW that long life spec that that is the important factor yeah so this is a, a Castrol Magnatec 540 fully synthetic and 5 litre tub I don't usually go for Castrol because usually you can only get them in like a four litre, so you've got to get two four litre tubs to be able to do most vehicles. But uh, it's nice to see they've started putting them in a five litre container. Right, that's enough waffling, let's get cracking. <clears throat> right, we're just down low on this now. There's a bit of a flap there that you need to sort of swing out the way. Screwdriver, or I'll just use the chisel. I've got 17 deep and we're in this hole here wherever it's at I'm just going to crack it oh. it should be nice and warm because I've uh, done about 20 miles getting into work and running some errands so we should be nice might warm my hands up Lovely. I like that drain. Do the filter. Put new uh, washer on that as well. The filter is just next to the dipstick. And it popped this engine cover off, and it should be <clears throat> yeah, right there. Oh. Let's get the appropriate tool. Right, so what we're using is this sort of filter cap set. I don't really know the, the name. Generation 2 oil filter set. I mean, you can use sort of water pump pliers, adjustable pliers. I mean, it's hard work getting into there. And there is also the chance you might crack that filter housing. So we'll just go with this. Of a step down there so I can use a 3 8 ratchet which is underneath. Oh, lovely! Right. So the new filter I like to put in there first because you've got to line this nipple up with a hole that's in there. So somewhere there. Then new O-ring on here. So 
bit of that new engine oil to lube it up. New copper washer on there. Lovely. Screw that cap back in. cleaner or a rag just to wipe off any spillages of oil you will get a little drip here and there right tools away sump plug in and then top the engine oil up right then sump plug back in Tighten it with one hand. Come on. Oh, that is lovely. Lovely. This just hooks on. Folds up and then we need screwdriver or punch, uh, chisel or whatever it is you're using. This just wants turning like that. Lovely. Right then, cap off and obviously as you can see there BMW recommends Castrol. So let's give it what it wants. I'm going to put about four litres in and then check the dipstick. I've missed a fucking shitload there. I'm out. Whoops. <clears throat> you can see it is just at that lower line there. So it's quite a bit more, yeah. I hope I've got enough. Right, so that's probably about halfway now, I think. maybe two thirds of the way. So I think I'm just gonna tip the rest of that in. And then we'll let it settle. And in fact, then I'll, I'll start it up. Right, I'll just let that settle five minutes or so before we double check the level in it. Right, I've put all the tools away now, dispose of the old oil. That should have given us enough time for this uh, engine oil to settle. Right then, one final dip before we box it up. Look at that. That is lovely. Splendid. Right, that's a good job. Well done, I think. I can uh, get that out of my mind now that that engine flush isn't in there anymore. Brand new oil. Um, I don't need to reset the oil life warning because I did it. 
couple of weeks ago when I, what did I do? Can't remember what I did. I think when we got it back on the road, cleared all the faults, reset any warnings that were flashing up on the dash. Uh, but if you need to reset yours, you're going to need a scan tool to do it. Um, it can't be done without one. So that is it for this episode. <clears throat> Not sure what's next. We'll probably have to get in them wheel arches. Uh, keep on top of them. Make sure they're still uh, nice and clean. Don't want to, obviously all that work we did in the summer, don't want all that to be undone by neglecting it. So we may do uh, a deep clean on the wheel arches. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.